Ron Siegel's Home and Finance Radio Show, only on Financial News and Talk. Now live in studio, your host, local and national real estate expert and consumer advocate, Ron Siegel. And hello again. Welcome to Ron Siegel Radio. This is the show. With no real boundaries as we discuss current events, financial markets, politics, sports, even poking fun at the rest of the media. This is the show that connects the dots of confusion delivered by conflicting media reports. We connect the dots so you know the actions you can take. How your family or business can benefit from current events, most of all. Thank you very much. That's really nice. Thank you. Thank you for joining. Thanks for joining us, Mr. President. That was pretty pretty nice. How do you like that, Chris? That's a new uh, little feature there. The President chimes in to, to greet everybody in the morning. Oh, number 45. <laughs> that was nice. Number 45 right there in the house. Within every market, there are solutions as well as tremendous opportunities. You just need some trusted guidance. That is my message. I will be delivering it every day. If you're very focused, Joe, we only chat about items that affect the roof over your head, your bank account, and anything I feel would benefit you. But before we get to our intriguing content today, please join me in welcoming our featured guest and repeat offender, Chris Bissonette is in the house. We're talking college today. Good morning. Woo! Hey, thanks for having me back. Glad to have you with us. And let me remind you, if you ever have any home or finance related questions, I am the consumer advocate looking out for you. And you can reach out to me directly, 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990, or ronsegalradio.com. Just remember, that's the number you call anytime for assistance. When you call that number, it comes directly to me first. There are no operators standing by i am it quiet numbskulls i'm broadcasting while i do have a great team when it comes to developing a financing plan or plan to save you money i personally work with you even if you don't have any needs today save this number in your phone for future reference 800-306-1990 apparently our one of our mic cords seems like it's having a little fun on us today trying to trying to test us chris to see if it's going to give us a little uh Feedback. Maybe we'll see about the feedback. Uh, of course, a lot of people give me feedback. What are we celebrating today? I looked at this one, and you know, I was curious as to why we were going to do a show today, Chris. Okay. And the answer came back very simple: just because. It's some weird holiday. It's just because day. Oh. <laughs> really? Right. No. No one ever. Have you ever heard of just because day? No, a lot of times when I come on the show, there's some holiday that I don't know about. It's like Margarita Day or it's like Muffin Day, but today is Just Because Day. No, Just Because Day. All right. Well. Now, there's another one here that uh, might be more fitting for me. Uh, having beaten anorexia, we all know that. I've, I've mentioned it many, many times. Today is actually National Pots de Cream Day. What is that? that that's what I was going to say, right? So it's a delicious custard dessert. It's the collect, you make it in a ramekin because this day gives you another excuse to use them. Recipes for this delightful French dessert date back to the 17th century. Its, its name means, I don't know why, pots de, pot of custard or pot of cream. Sounds like a creme brulee or something. That's what it looks like from the picture oh, that, here. I love uh, that stuff. Or flan. I love that. Yeah, that's how I got to be this size. Uh, I, I like it way too much. Oh, well, we better move on because celebrating seems to be a little bit, uh, a little premature for that. Although we are drinking coffee this morning until it becomes time for wine. Just one of those normal days. Uh, moving right along, let's take a look at the Dow Jones Industrial Average down 71 points. Ow! S&P 500 down 6, NASDAQ down 21, oil up 22 cents per barrel. Do we want to look? Do we even want to know? Should I tell you what's going on in gasoline? Uh, should I do it? I know in Calizuela we have a, an issue with our gas prices here. We try to see if we can stay very as close to what they're paying in Hawaii as possible. National average 258 and a half, Calizuela 357.2. 357.2 is the price in, in Calizuela. Unbelievable. Hawaii, 365.7. Louisiana, 220.3. Mississippi, 220.4. So they're about a dollar thirty something a gallon less than what we're paying right here. Just throw that out there for you. Hey, but we do have some good news on the marketing on the on the market front. 
we're watching and seeing the 10-year Treasury. Well, I guess it's I guess all every number when you look at the Dow Jones and you look at all the other numbers. Is it good news or is it bad news? Well, there's always a buyer, there's always a seller. So the U.S. 10-year Treasury at 1.477. What that means at 1.477 is that, yeah, you're going to be hurting a little bit if you're a senior living on a fixed income. On the other hand, if you're not a senior, or if you are a senior looking to buy a new house, refinance a house, get rid of some debts, now would be a great time to make that phone call because I'm looking at the 10-year treasuries right now. The I'm sorry, the mortgage-backed securities, not the 10-year treasury, the mortgage-backed securities, right? And they are up as I speak to you about, uh, if my computer wakes up, 22 basis points. Now, when the bond is up, that means interest rates are down. Bond up, rates down. That's just the way it works. So if you're thinking about buying, refinance, if you bought a house anytime over six months ago, I'm gonna just throw that number out there. Anything over six months ago, you should be making a call to see if you can save money, unless you like paying extra money. Because I'm looking at it right now, the Freddie Mac number, 3.55, that's their baseline rate, 3.55 on a 30-year fixed rate loan. If I look back just to June, 3.82. So that's just two months, and the rates are down 10%. If we look back to last year at this time, 4.51. <clears throat> Think about that concept. So if you bought a house any time from probably six months ago or more, you really should be, you know, if you don't do anything, that's not a problem. But you might want to be exploring. I did have somebody this morning, uh, one of our private clients that reached out to us, and no cost loan was going to be, save them about $250 a month on a $400,000 house. Now, what is two, now we'll talk to Chris a little bit later because he's a, he's a financial planner. That's $3,000 a year. You're really quick. Wow. But, but we're going to talk to Chris about this concept is, what does what $250 a month mean to the average family? Because $400,000 in, in Southern California is not an expensive house. But what does $250 a month do to your budget? It's a lot of money. Right? I think so. I mean, $3,000, that, that gets you a pretty nice trip to Hawaii. Yeah. Right? A vacation for the family. It might get you uh, another car. It might, it might get you a car, but it might get you another car. Right? There's a lot. $250 a month. Mm -hmm. Now, I've been telling you interest rates are going to continue that downward slide. When I spoke to this private client earlier this morning, I said, that's a no-cost loan, which means that if the rates continue to drop as I am forecasting, you'll be ready to do this again. How many times do you want to save $250 a month when it costs you nothing? Now, I am a radio personality. We have seven listeners. I think every one of them have got an autograph from me, <laughs> all seven. But here's the issue. If you're thinking about buying, selling, refinancing, or, or debt consolidation, does anybody pay you $250 for your autograph? Right, all you gotta do is autograph a few pieces of paper, and maybe it's more than a few, and you get that benefit. So it's for your family, it doesn't matter one way or another to me. We just like to help families, we give them the ideas. It is up to them then to make the decision, hey, you know something, do I wanna save money? Or do I want to keep giving it to the bank? Because the banks obviously do not have enough money. Uh, let's see what else we have in the daily briefing today. Obviously, we saw the uh, optimism in the U.S.-China trade war. That was 10 minutes ago. So we've been on air for about, uh, where's the clock there? We've been on air about nine minutes. So that was nine minutes ago. They may have changed that already. I haven't seen Twitter in the last nine minutes. So, you know, that, that's how the markets change right now. Ah, moving right along Didn't in the Trump do something with Japan yesterday. Yeah, yeah, did something. Yeah, did a trade, something, yeah, did trade deal in Japan. Seems like a big deal. Big deal. Yeah, that's good. And Japan having negative uh, interest for the last what twenty years or so. That's so crazy, right? I mean, it might be. It might help Japan out a lot. Uh, this morning, I see that uh, the accusers of Jeffrey Epstein, they're going to be able to, the accusers, the alleged victims, are going to get to have their day in court. They get to speak in front of the judge about 
what they're claiming Epstein did. That's going to be a fascinating to see what happens there. And the big news yesterday, you know, he updated his will two days before. Two days passed. before, yeah, his, his, his trust put everything into a separate trust. It's all going to his brother. I saw. I don't know. It was in a trust. It's very that interesting, was, though. Yeah. So now there's there's my, so people are going to challenge it, saying he may not have been in the right frame of mind to update his will. That's going to be someone a challenge. I had read. It'd be fascinating to do that because I think that it was all done in the Virgin Islands. Yes. So that's where his, his assets are being held. Interesting there. Johnson & Johnson ordered to pay $572 million in the opioid case. That's just for Oklahoma. They the, the state... This is a fascinating because the state says they won. And they, the claim or the, the case was for $17 billion. And the judge awarded them $572 million. So significantly less money than what they had asked for. Who won that case? Well, the only one that I know that won that case would be the stockholders because the stock went up after the news of the judge's ruling. I guess we can just call it a judge's ruling because we don't know really who won or who lost. Uh, $572 million for some of these companies, that's a kick in the bucket. But uh, if they want to send it my way, you know, your local radio host will be glad to share that with the listeners of Ron Siegel Radio if they want to send a piece of that, a significant piece of that, $572 million this way. You are listening to Ron Siegel Radio discussing your real estate, current events, and the financial markets. <clears throat> when we come back, the number one mistake Americans make with college. We're going to talk about that one. Experts predict a strong housing market for the rest of 2019. How to get pre-approved for a mortgage, home loan, all that and more. You can reach me anytime. Our off-air number, it's 800-306-1990. 800-306-1990 or ronsegalradio.com. Connect with us. Facebook.com forward slash Ron Siegel Radio on Twitter at Ron Siegel. And if you miss any part of our broadcast, Ron Siegel 1. Ron Siegel, the numeral 1 on YouTube. Stay tuned. We'll be back in just a few. <laughs> Are you earning a safe, secure 10 plus percent return on your investment? Is your credit score over 800? Are you living in the home of your dreams or simply where you think you can afford? If the answer to any of these questions is no, what are you doing about it? Text ATP to 79564. Complete a three minute complimentary survey and the area trusted professionals of Ron Siegel Radio will reach out to you to develop a success strategy for you. Again, all you need to do is text ATP to 79564. Did you know that banks and credit bureaus are rewarded financially if you have bad credit? And the worse your credit score is, the more money they can make off of you? How does that make you feel knowing that banks are getting rich off of your hard-earned money? How does it make you feel knowing that if a bank or a credit bureau makes a mistake on your credit report, they benefit from it and it hurts you? The Fair Credit Report Act of 1971 requires banks and credit bureaus to report only accurate information and nearly 100% of all credit reports are inaccurate. If you're sick and tired of being broke and tired of being robbed by the banks, you owe it to yourself and to your family to call Rondi. Rondi is a FICO certified credit professional and has helped thousands of people just like you get out of debt and establish great credit. Rondi's number is 855-608-1990. Again, that's 855-608-1990. Or visit creditsanitizer.com. Again, that website is creditsanitizer.com. Are you a veteran, own a home, and need money? The Siegel Lending Team is here to help veterans refinance and get the money they need. The VA 100 lets you borrow up to 100% of your home's value, refinance your mortgages, consolidate credit cards, and lower your payments by an average of $700 a month. And the Siegel Lending Team knows that character means more than a credit score. Call 800-306-1990. That's 800-306-1990. Rate subject to change without notice. Licensed by the California Department of Corporations, NMLS 21037, and DRE number 0186942. Are you a veteran, police officer, firefighter, doctor, nurse, or teacher? If so, you qualify as one of Ron Siegel's VIP heroes, and we have rewards up to $5,000 or $10,000 when you buy, sell, or refinance a home with one of the Ron Siegel Radio Partners. As one of the heroes, real estate agents will rebate part of their commission, lending partners will give a credit at closing, the title company has special published rates, and many other service providers have incentives too. All you need to do is call Ron Siegel Radio at 1-800-306-1990. 
That's 1-800-306-1990. Or visit VIPHeroProgram.com. Just think about what you will do with all the rebates and incentives from the partners of Ron Siegel Radio. Just call us at 800-306-1990 so we can show you our appreciation for your service. You're listening to Ron Siegel's Home and Finance Show with local and national expert Ron Siegel. Now, here's Ron. Welcome back to Ron Siegel Radio. Within every market, there are solutions as well as tremendous opportunities. You just need some trusted guidance. That is my message, and I will be delivering it every day on Ron Siegel Radio or anytime at 800 306 1990. 800 306 1990. The Mortgage Minute today being brought to you by our friends at Gold Star Mortgage. When you're ready for that next mortgage, Gold Star has the programs. They've got the products. You've got the phone. Make the call, 800-306-1990. Dow Jones Industrial Average now down 82 points. NASDAQ down 23.46. The S&P 500 down 4.52. 10-year Treasury down 7 basis points to 1.476 is the yield. And the mortgage-backed securities up 20. Two basis points, and as I share with you on a regular basis, all of that can be found on the super secret website google.com. Why do you tune in for me? Why do I give that information to you? It's just to give you the foundation for what's happening in the mortgage market. Why is it happening? But one of the big issues that's been going on right along is there's been a divergence generally. We see that the 30-year fixed rate loan is usually about one and a half points above the 10-year treasury. That would put it right around three, and it's, uh, it's higher than that right now. So that's a big issue right there. So why is that spread there? Well, we'll talk about that. But we did see the Case-Shiller Home Price Index considered the gold standard for appreciation. That came out. Case-Shiller, now remember, Case-Shiller is always a little bit old like me, right? It comes out, uh, it's based on information that they collect over a three-month period, but that was three months ago. So they started three months, four months, five months is the data that's in this report. And it comes back saying that the report has a 3.1% annual gain down from 3.3%. The news is going to say housing prices decrease. That's what you're going to see in the news, but you know, not true. 3.3, it was, now it's 3.1, still going up. And this is June data, so that's before the latest round of interest rate decreases. Big place, the big cities still, Phoenix, Las Vegas, and Tampa. The only city that we're seeing that fell, does this want to, anybody want to guess where the only city is that fell in the report? Should I give you a drum roll on this one? I'll give you about uh, eight seconds to figure it out. Yeah, Seattle. I wonder what's going on in Seattle that uh, their prices are dropping. Whoops, sorry, they're on. Surprise, surprise, surprise. The FHFA released their house price index, which measures home price appreciation on single family homes with conforming loan amounts. So the multi millions don't get in there. Today's report showed that home prices rose 0.2% in June and 4.8% year over year. Slight decline from the previous report, which was reported at 5.2%. Logical to think that the FHFA report is running hotter than Case Shiller as it covers homes with conforming loan limits, doesn't have to be to the, the higher priced properties, and every place I talk to, they're saying that the conforming loans, the, the more entry level loans, people are, they're, they're flying, you know, it's priced right, it sells quickly, but that is the Mortgage Minute brought to you by our friends at Gold Star Mortgage. Let us chat this morning. Chris Bissonette is with us. I got a bad feeling about this. Chris always brings some great information, and I just harass him because he's a Raider fan, so it's it's easy to harass Raider fans. They'll but, be good this year. Will they? I, well, the division's tough, but I think um, I think they'll be good. I've been watching the Hard Knocks, and uh, they're definitely going to be entertaining, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, I think uh, Miami said they're going to be good this year, and Tampa Miami. Bay said they're going to be good this year. The Angels say they're going to be good every year, but other than 2002, they're not good any year. So, we got, well, you know, wait a second. 2002, is that, a, is that a magical year for the Raiders? It was. It was their last <laughs> season that they went to the Super Bowl. So, yeah, they've, only, so they've only been to five, so, so we'll see if they go to number six here. That, how many have they won? Three. Three. 
And have they won any this decade or this century? Uh, no. <laughs> okay, just, no. just throw that out there. But let's chat a little bit with our friend Chris Bisson. That we're talking about college planning. Yes. So I hear that there. You know, it, it's it's fascinates me, Chris, because you know my my kids are old enough that that they're not in that college planning world anymore. Thank mm-hmm. goodness, I don't have to deal with that. Uh, but I do remember those days well. And and one of the courses I went to, uh, not a course, but a, a lecture at the high school was talking about that. The, at that time, and this goes back to about 2006, okay. that it was cheaper to go to a private school than to go to public schools. It yeah. baffled me. Yeah, yeah, that is, uh, it, it is surprising for people. Um, and is I it do, still true? It is still true. And the reason being is some of the more expensive private schools, uh, they have more money. And so they will provide more of the um, remaining need is what it's called. So it goes cost of attendance minus your expected family contribution is remaining need. A lot of the private schools have a lot of money, so they'll cover 100% of that. So recently I I had a client that uh, son was going to go out of state to Colorado State or University of Boulder. Their out-of-pocket was $12,000 and $16,000 for those two schools. Uh, USC, which I threw on the list, um, was $4,000. So it's three to 400 percent less to go to a school that costs twice as much. Why? Because USC will cover 100 percent of the remaining need while a lot of the state schools don't have the money and they won't. So that was very surprising. Unless you're to my here client. illegally, but I don't want to go that down that route. Yes. <laughs> yes. So that was very surprising, and it, the the client worked at Orange Coast College, so technically it was cheaper to go to, in this situation. If he if, again, he still has to get in to go to SC at four grand a year, than to go to OCC at fifteen hundred a year because USC also covers room and board. Wow. <laughs> I know. He was very, so he works at OCC. And I told him that. I said, well, when I run this report of 10 schools, it might be cheaper to go to a private school. And he was surprised. And I said, well, you still got to get in. But now, instead of looking at. Well, you just paid. Schools, there's a guy in Newport Beach that helps you get in, too, right? Well, my old uh, business partner, <laughs> Rick Singer, can help you as well if you're really rich. But um, that plan, that kind of uh, went El Foldo. Yeah. Um, but uh, but it get, is some interesting. of those people get room and board, too. Yes, they do. But it's a they, little different room. Well, and, uh, they get a small room with a toilet and you know bread and water, <laughs> but, um, and a lot of embarrassment. And Guido. Um, but the uh, but the, I guess the point here is for Amer- you know your listeners, Americans completely screw up the whole college planning thing. And why is that? We got too much stuff coming at us. It's too busy, and then all of a sudden college comes up, and it's oh crap, you're a senior. Go to community college. We'll figure it out. The figure out is loans. You should look at ten schools. Submit ten schools on the FAFSA. And then get the aid packages from all those schools, and then work on lowering your EFC. The whole strategy. You said something there that you you apply to ten schools and get eight packages. You get aid. The oh aid. aid. Oh okay. Yeah, yeah. So you you can do a FAFSA with ten schools. Each school will send you their aid package, how it works. Most people don't do it that way. They pick like one or two schools. They assume the cheap schools. The cheaper schools sometimes cost more money. And that's, you know, we just don't think about that concept because most of us don't know it. No one's ever taught us that. I, I've been a financial planner, as you know, for 25 years, and college planning was a 529 plan. And about a year and a half, I started focusing on this as a niche. And, uh, you know, the people that work at the schools in the financial aid department, they really don't know the whole process as well. They help you fill out the forms, but there's no real strategy behind it. And when you say the schools, are you talking about the colleges or the high school level? <clears throat> I would say both. Um, okay. The financial aid people that I have met with that have attended my workshops, they will come up afterwards and say, we're not even allowed to advise on anything financial because we're not financial aid advi- You know, We're not advisors. Um, all we can do is help them fill out the form. So, just those forms can be a pain in the neck to fill out too. Well, as you know, the FAFSA is longer than a 1040. It's 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 1040 promoted. Is the tax form. Yeah, it's promoted as simple, but every client I've ever had that I work with that's completed one always says the same thing. I don't think I did it right, and I never liked filling that thing out. And I can say for certain, uh, I did not know Chris back then. I didn't like the idea of filling it out. I was more than happy to hire somebody to do it. Right, and and some of the people that do it, they 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 don't charge a huge amount of money. I don't know what the, the fee is anymore because this is going back 
10 or 12 years ago. But my, my belief is, in many instances, is that if hire somebody to do it right. I, and I don't know, you know, Chris, I don't understand why we don't see a lot of the tax preparers just go into the same, the, the FAFSA industry. You know, that's kind of an interesting point. Um, is there, isn't surprising. FAFSA done right now? What's that? Isn't the FAFSA, isn't that what they're working on right now? Isn't it now the FAFSA season? Yeah, it actually, FAFSA season starts October 1st okay. for the following year. So you have October 1st to June 30th to submit your free application for federal student aid. Now, I will say, Ron, 30% of all people going to college don't complete a FAFSA. Why? 30%. 30%. Why? They don't understand it. They don't think they'll qualify. In 2016, $2.7 billion of free money was left on the table. $2.7 billion and people are complaining about the cost of college. Yeah, because they just do the loans. And there's free grants and gifts and scholarship money, but you have to apply for it. Sure. That's a, a fascinating thought, and we're going to talk more to Chris about that, because one of the things that, that most people don't know is even if you've got some significant assets, you can apply for it, and you might be able to find some methods with uh, talking to Chris, how you can actually get assistance by doing the right thing and just filling out the form. We'll talk more when we come back. You're listening to Ron Siegel Radio. Discussing your real estate current events and the financial markets. Experts predict a strong housing market for the rest of 2019. How to get pre-approved for a mortgage loan. All that and more. You can reach me anytime. Our offer number 800-306-1990. 800-306-1990 or ronsegalradio.com. Connect with us. Facebook.com forward slash Ron Siegel Radio on Twitter at Ron Siegel. And if you miss any part of our broadcast, Ron Siegel 1, Ron Siegel, the numeral 1 on YouTube. Stay tuned. We'll be back in just a few. Siegel Lending Team offers you buying power. Let's say you can afford a monthly mortgage payment, including principal and interest, of around $1,900. With today's rate on a 30-year fixed mortgage of 3.75%, APR 3.85%, that payment could support a $416,000 mortgage. But if you wait and rates tick up to around 6.5%, which is roughly the average home mortgage rate over the past 30 years, that same $1,900 mortgage payment, including principal and interest, may only be able to support a $314,000 mortgage. That's over $100,000 worth of home. You're missing out on by waiting. That's buying power. All you need to do to get started is reach out to the Siegel Lending Team at 800-306-1990. That's 800-306-1990. Or visit SiegelLendingTeam.com. That's S-I-E-G-E-L LendingTeam.com. Payment example excludes taxes and insurance. Call us for full details. 800-306-1990. That's 800-306-1990. Or SiegelLendingTeam.com. Equal housing lender. Licensed under NMLS number 217037. Are you purchasing or own a luxury home? If you're like so many others, your home is your largest asset and the mortgage is your largest debt. The Siegel Lending Team has some amazing financing opportunities right now. Jumbo loans up to $2 million, 30-year rates below 4%, 15-year rates near 35 and if you can believe it, 7-year interest only hybrids in low threes. The Siegel Lending Team has all the options for your jumbo or second home loan requirements. Take advantage of them while you can. To learn more about all the other financing products available from the Siegel Lending Team, call 1-800-306-1990. That's 1-800-306-1990. Or visit SiegelLendingTeam.com. That's S-I-E-G-E-L LendingTeam.com. Again, call 1-800-306-1990. Rate subject to change without notice. Licensed by NMLS ID 217037 and 145502. Equal Housing Lender. Homeowners that are 62 and older are about to find out a great way to live a better retirement. It's called a reverse mortgage, and SLT can help you learn more. Call the Siegel Lending Team at 800-306-1990 right now to receive your free booklet with no obligation. It answers questions like how a reverse mortgage works, how much you qualify for, the ways to receive your money, and more. When you call the experts at Siegel Lending Team today, you'll learn the benefits of a government-insured reverse mortgage, how it will eliminate your monthly mortgage payments, and give you tax-free cash from the equity in your home. Here's the best part. You still own your home. Now is the best time to take control of your retirement. Call 800-306-1990. 
That's 800-306-1990 to get your free brochure. Call today or visit our website at SiegelLendingTeam.com. That's S-I-E-G-E-L LendingTeam.com. Or simply call 800-306-1990. You're listening to Ron Siegel's Home and Finance Show with local and national expert, Ron Siegel. Now, here's Ron. Welcome back to Ron Siegel Radio. Within every market, there are solutions as well as tremendous opportunities. You just need some trusted guidance. That is my message, and I will be delivering it every day on Ron Siegel Radio or anytime at 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990. The real-time real estate segment today being brought to you by the area trusted real estate professionals of Ron Siegel Radio. Text NEST, N-E-S-T, to 79564. Find your dream home before someone else does. Have you already found your dream home? Did you put it? into the SLT Home Digest. It's your custom digest. It tells you what the county recorder knows about your home. It'll also tell you all the things, the, the market value of your home, what the market sees as your home, maybe some investment opportunities, all customized for you, and it is free. Experts predict a strong housing market for the rest of 2019. We're in the back half of the year. And with the decline in interest rates as well as home price and wage appreciation, many are wondering what the predictions are for the remainder of 2019. Here's what some experts have to say. Ralph McLaughlin, Deputy Chief Economist for CoreLogic, quote, we see the cool down, flattening, or even reversing course in the coming months and expect the housing market to continue coming into balance. In the meantime, buyers are likely claiming some ground from what has been seller's territory over the past few years. If mortgage rates stay low, wages continue to grow, and inventory picks up, we can expect the U.S. housing market to further stabilize throughout the remainder of the year. Lawrence Yoon, Chief Economist at NAR, quote, we expect the second half of the year will be notably better than the first half in terms of home sales, mainly because of lower mortgage rates. Freddie Mac, the drop in mortgage rates continues to stimulate the real estate market and the economy. Home purchase demand is up 5% from a year ago and has noticeably strengthened since the early summer months. The benefit of lower mortgage rates is not only shoring up home sales, but also providing support to homeowner balance sheets via higher monthly cash flow and steadily rising home equity. The bottom line, the housing market will be strong the rest of 2019. If you'd like to know more about our specific market, give me a call at 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990, or com. And again, remember, get that digest, Home Digest, text SLT, Home Digest, for your free copy. You don't want to wait on that because how do you know, how do you make educated decisions if you are not... Educated. That's just a concept. It's one of my big belief systems. Again, that's the real-time real estate segment. Chatting this morning, Chris Bissonette is here. We are talking about college financial planning. So, Chris, one of the, the comments I hear frequently is I, I talk to folks, and, and because of my background and having gone through with my kids, I, did you fill out the FAFSA? Oh, no, Ron, I make too much money. I'm not going to get any financial aid. Yeah, again, I, I would think that is the, uh, the consensus. People believe that. Um, if you make $10 million, you should fill out a FAFSA. Why? Do you think you're going to get any aid? Well, here's the thing. Yes, because some schools tie their merit-based aid to the FAFSA, meaning like the grades. So everybody should fill out a FAFSA. Okay. Everybody should. Um, I had a client that uh, got a sports scholarship, and they were like, oh, it's full ride. And I said, okay. And I said, well, you should fill out the FAFSA. Why? There might be more money. He filled it out and also qualified for a Pell Grant, which was $7,000 a year. So I got an additional twenty eight grand on top of the sports scholarship. He didn't know that. And again, most people don't know this stuff. So that's the number one thing, listeners, fill out a FAFSA, do it in October because that's when a lot of the um, the money for financial need dries up within about three to four months, Pell Grant, Cal Grant, stuff like that. So you want to fill that out and submit it in October. So the concept here, that's a, a high net worth individual that's getting a additional finances from the school. The schools have the money. I, I mean, I, I get it if you want to make a charitable donation, that's wonderful. 
but take that money and then make a charitable donation because college tuition is not deductible, is it? No, no, and it's gone. It's gone up thirty percent last five years. So cost of attendance in California private schools now is over seventy thousand. So your alma mater, Chapman, I think is seventy thousand a year. Wow. Most people, most Americans, most Californians don't have three hundred thousand dollars to spend on college. Most so here's a question though: Are, are I mean, there's, there's nothing that we have in my world that's more precious than our kids, yes. right? So if I have a retirement plan, yes. you're, I, you're the financial planner. Should yes. I be pulling money out of my retirement plan to, to send my kids to school? Uh, absolutely not. And uh, it's interesting you bring that up. I'm holding up the cover of Investment News, and it says buried under college costs. I do see that where parents, I'm like, hey, we need to access 100000 out of the 401k. Okay, what's it for? Oh, college for my son. And what I say is, um, can't he get a loan? Yeah, we don't want him to have a loan. There's no loans in retirement. So I think we really need to think about this and do a strategy around it. But that partly is why I decided to focus in on this uh, about a year and a half ago. You know, it's, it's fascinating because I, I, I've watched your your career transitioning in this way and focusing on helping some of these families and you know I said the same thing 20 years ago that I noticed at the time when I was working at Merrill Lynch that there was a lot more people had liabilities it was, it was there were more people I could service by working on that had a half a million dollars in debt mm, yeah. than have a half a million dollars in assets yeah right I think that's a big difference now so the issue becomes you know, how do you help more people? Well, you're you're doing it through helping the kids. I mean, our, and and you know, we talk a lot. You know, Jay Kaplan comes on the broadcast. I know you've been on on his program as well. Mm-hmm. And we talk about art. Do you do you know a senior? Are you a senior? Do you know a senior? Do you want to become a senior? Okay. Right. Same situation with the college side. Right. Do you, do you know a kid? Do you have a kid or grandkid? No. Nope. Right. I, mean, I can't become a kid anymore. Well, some people say I act like one. <laughs> right. But. But that, that's part of our, our genealogy and, and the, the structure of helping them. Yes. You and I have chatted about this before that because I watch the business channel a lot and I hear very, very successful investor on there and he says, well, I would never, ever touch an annuity. Yeah. But you and I have talked about that there is a place for that in absolutely. the financial planning world. Absolutely, absolutely. If, you, if you're a senior and if you could go to the senior and say, hey, your bills are six grand a month, if I could create a way to have a guaranteed check every month for six grand to come in to cover your bills, right? how would that help you out for retirement? Sure. Just to know your bills are covered. That's great. Well, that annuity is Latin for uh, annuitus, which means lifetime income. So it's designed to create an income stream for people. So yes, they have their place. And, and haven't you talked a little bit about the idea that you can use the annuity also for um, asset protection yes. from the college planning? Yeah, yeah. There are some assets that are not factored in on the FAFSA formula. The house you live in, um, your retirement plan. So I should buy a bigger house. Yeah, uh, and and they, some schools will count it, but the FAFSA doesn't. Um, and retirement plans and most insurance doesn't factor into that formula as well, which is good. So the government realized, hey, we want you to have insurance to protect your family. We're not going to count that on the FAFSA, well, but, but we will count the five two nine plan, which you have two hundred grand in. That's going to count against you at eleven thousand. So that always surprises people. And and here's the. Here's the concept there, and, and it goes to something I've shared many, many times, Chris, is that you know, you're a you're an expert in what you do. You might be a plumber, you might be uh, a handyman, you might be a carpenter, glazier, business owner, whatever. I'm going to submit that you're probably not an expert in doing radio broadcasts, otherwise you wouldn't be listening to me, right? Maybe you are. But here's the issue is everybody's an expert in their own world and most people are not experts in dealing with this FAFSA form, right? Most of us don't even fill it out, so we're not really experts in that arena. Yeah. Exactly. So what we want to do is talk to somebody who is, who can help us and get the get things done in the right way. Yeah, and, and uh, the easiest analogy, Ron, is if, if you're, let's say you're a business owner and you have a $200,000 tax bill. You know, you're going to hire a pro to help you with your taxes. Right. Well, 
It's the same thing with college. If you you know you're going to have a two to three hundred thousand dollars, let's say one hundred to three hundred thousand dollar expenditure, your largest maybe of your life. Why would you try and complete these documents yourself, knowing answering one question incorrectly can cost you ten grand a year? Sure. In financial aid, but again, people don't know that people like me exist. Now, let me ask you this this part of it, Chris, because I've never really explored this with anybody. Is it the terminology that people don't like? Do you think it maybe it's the fact that some people say, you know something, I am I don't want financial aid. But it's the word aid, it's well, thing that think, they're getting a handout I as think opposed what, to I think that I think what it is is there's this misperception that you have to be low income to qualify. Right. Middle income. I mean, if you have an AGI of under just gross income, yeah, of under two hundred twenty-five thousand dollars, that's pretty. You know, that's a lot of a people. You sure. can still qualify for financial aid. Um, also, if you have ten five million dollars of assets, assets can be retitled, put in the business. There's a lot of things that can legally be done to qualify you for more money. Just like um, Amazon doesn't pay anything in taxes. Well, it's because they probably have a good accountant. Sure, you have, you have the right as Americans to pay your fair share. So, right, and 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 the the bottom line is, as long as you follow the law, you're paying your fair share, right? The law yeah. says you can do these things. Why did? What do you think they put these laws in place? Guess who wrote the laws with the caveats that are in them, right? Those are all things that are done by some organization, some people. And there's nothing wrong with it. So we're going to chat more with Chris. Hey, I, I think that we can find, give you some data on where you might be able to find Chris outside of Ron Siegel Radio. I know this is a great place to come and get information from Chris, but maybe outside of Ron Siegel Radio, there's a place where you can see him as well. But you're going to have to stay tuned. We'll be back. You're listening to Ron Siegel Radio, discussing your real estate, current events, and the financial markets when we come back. Mortgage loans. How do you do it? We'll talk about that. You can listen to me, reach me anytime, off air number 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990, or ronsegalradio.com. Connect with us, facebook.com forward slash ronsegalradio on Twitter, at Ron Siegel. And if you miss any part of our broadcast, Ron Siegel 1, Ron Siegel, the numeral 1 on YouTube. Stay tuned. We'll be back in just a few. living in the home of your dreams or simply where you think you can afford? Are you earning a safe, secure 10 plus percent return on your investment? Is your credit score over 800? If the answer to any of these questions is no, what are you doing about it? Text ATP to 79564. Complete a three minute complimentary survey and the area trusted professionals of Ron Siegel Radio will reach out to you to develop a success strategy for you. Again, all you need to do is text ATP to 79564. Most businesses struggle to get the online reviews they need to get a competitive edge over their competition. Rex is a brand new technology that uses text messages to direct happy clients to your online review sites, Zillow, Google, Facebook, and Yelp, and unhappy clients to a private survey so businesses can win more customers. Try Rex today by going to www.meetrex.com. Are you currently renting a home? Do you like paying someone else's mortgage payment? Why not explore the options to purchase your own home? Can you imagine a 30-year fixed-rate loan below 4.25% APR? This means with $10,500, you can purchase a $295,000 home and have a principal and interest payment of about $1,400 per month. What are you paying in rent? Does your family deserve the opportunity to take advantage of the current market? To learn more about these exciting opportunities, the Siegel Lending Team is standing by to speak with you. Call now, 1-800-306-1990. That's 1-800-306-1990. Or visit SiegelLendingTeam.com. That's S-I-E-G-E-L LendingTeam.com. Or 1-800-306-1990. Rate subject to change without notice. Licensed by NMLS ID 217037 and 145502. Equal housing lender. Not endorsed or sponsored by any government agency. Do you have a goal of mortgage-free home ownership? What if your home was valued at $500,000? Are you aware that a free and clear home could be costing you $2,500 every month, $30,000 per year? The mortgage planners at the Siegel Lending Team would like to show you how you can own your home, generate tax-free income, and accumulate family wealth. You simply need to call the Ron Siegel Team at one 800 
1990 That is 1-800-306-1990. By sending the team a copy of your most recent mortgage statement, the team will send you a no-obligation real estate plan. You be the judge if this is right for your family. Again, all you have to do is send the team a copy of your mortgage statement by email to reap at ronsiegelradio.com or call today, Ron Siegel, 1-800-306-1990. That is 1-800-306-1990. Subject to change and without notice. Licensed by the California DOC and BRE and MLS 217-037 and 1455502 and Cal BRE 01869452 and 1866775. You're listening to Ron Siegel's Home and Finance Show with local and national expert Ron Siegel. Now, here's Ron. Welcome back to Ron Siegel Radio. Within every market, there are solutions as well as tremendous opportunities. You just need some trusted guidance. That is my message. I will be delivering it every day on Ron Siegel Radio or any time at 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990, the Your Credit Matters segment today being brought to you by CreditSanitizer.com. You have a credit report. It is wrong. What are you doing about it? How to get pre-approved for a mortgage home loan, how to get approved for a refinance, it all comes down to the same things in the most part. If you got an FHA loan or a loan that was guaranteed by the FHA in the last six months or six months or further out, those are really easy loans. Those are basically a streamlined loan. You can probably save, my guess is about 1% over what the price was six months ago, what you were probably paying. A lot of money right there. If you're looking at a 30-year fixed rate loan, if you did that in the last six six months out or longer, if it's older than six months, you're going to save money there as well. So what do you need to do to get this going? Well, it's pretty simple. You're going to probably, depending upon the loan type, there are some others that are out there right now that are extremely simple. Basically, if you can fog a mirror, you get the loan. There are loans out there right now, especially if you're in the financial planning world, if you're trying to uh, maximize your asset utilization and you find a great financial planner like Chris who can help you make money with your money, but you don't want to put it into the house, how about putting down 20%, maybe 10% or refinancing to those numbers and you can get a big benefit, get the money out and process it. Think about this one, at a, maybe, and I don't know all the numbers, I don't know your situation, but if, just use a round number of 5% because I'm a simple guy. right? So if you have a 5% loan on a $500,000 house, is that what, $25,000 a year in interest? So it's about $2,000 a month is your payment. What are you paying now? Right? Get, the, get your bank statements ready, two years tax returns, 30 days worth of pay stubs, your most recent mortgage statement, inter, your insurance statement, and your HOA statement. That's about what you need to get pre-approved for any kind of a loan or to get started on a refinance of a loan. Very simple stuff. That's your Credit Matters brought to you by CreditSanitizer.com. That's Jeff Sipes and our friends over at Blue Water Credit. They do a great job helping folks get their credit repaired, credit corrected. And usually when your credit scores are corrected, your credit report is corrected, your credit scores go up. Just throwing that out there for you. Continuing our conversation, Chris Bissonette is in the house. We are talking about college financial planning. How about structuring your assets and putting your assets in the right places? There are certain programs that Chris has that he's told me about in the past where you're actually able to put your assets, you strategically invest your assets, and it might be some places that you haven't thought about. That's the whole thing. Maybe it's somewhere that you haven't thought about in the past because that's how you do every day for a living, right? I mean... Chris, give us like two or three. Yeah, so um, just understand a lot of people don't know this. They think there's a look back period, like with Medicare, where if you you know sell your house, you gotta wait five years. No, 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 it's the date of the FAFSA. So you can p- reposition assets the day before you submit a FAFSA. Income, really? yeah, income goes back two years, and I've seen strategies on that too, but the assets are the day before you file the FAFSA. So assets, what about, let me ask you a question. What about our business owners that, you know, the business take in, a, you know, three or four million dollars a year. They've got a great accountant who writes everything off. Business assets aren't counted under 100 employees on the FAFSA. Okay, so 
you can make all that money there. You put all your bills through your business. You end up taking a very minimal salary. Yep. And that's totally kosher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now the now the CSS profile will count business assets like what's the, a CSS? Profile? So there's a FAFSA for ninety nine percent of the schools. Then there's a second form for the one percent Ivy League schools. Okay. USC, Yale, they're going to count business assets. They're going to count your home. They're going to look at your relatives. So it's a little more complicated. My you, relatives. They'll ask what your relatives own. Yeah. Wow. And I know it's very they they snoop around. Um, I don't but, even know the answer. But for most schools, yes, business assets won't count. Uh, retirement plan. So as I tell people, hey, let's let's go ahead and put as much money into the retirement plan as we can. Let's put money into insurance, or we can also retitle property. You can have it owned by an LLC. That's a C corp, so it's a business asset. There's a lot of strategies that you can use, um, which most people aren't aware of. And you can lower your EFC, the amount of money you pay by. It could be, all these acronyms, Chris. I can't yeah. keep up with them. I'm a simple guy. Yeah, the so the, the number is the uh, expected family contribution, the minimum amount of money a family has to pay. You can lower that number by doing some of these strategies and save a hundred grand. And, and so save a hundred grand so I can end up going or I can send my child. Actually, thank goodness it's not my child, but I can send them to a USC or a Stanford or if they can get in yes and it may cost less money than going to a state school because they have more money to give you interesting so like UCI is that that's a, that's a state school so go to USC instead yeah USC I think or um, UCI which got picked as the number one best value school in the country by money magazine about a week ago it's pretty cool Wow it's about 34,000 a year SC 71 um, but it may be cheaper to go to SC Wow that's that's fascinating yeah yeah I always thought so whenever I do my presentation I have about 20 slides I show you can see the smoke coming out of people's ears when I start going through these numbers and comparing the schools because people don't know this. Yeah. And why would we? You would think that there might be a class you take as a senior in high school that says college financial aid or something, but there's just nothing out there. And unfortunately, as good as the uh, uh, counselors are at the schools, they're not allowed to advise on this because they're not financial advisors. So they will help you with completing the forms, but there isn't a lot of strategy that will go along with that. Yeah, and that makes sense. So I guess that leads us into the question. Where do we go to find this information, Chris? Well, um, you can always reach out to me. Um, I okay. also have. So we're going to put your information right there on the uh, on our Facebook page and our blog sites and all that good stuff. Yes. Feel so free or to call reach me at eight hundred three zero six nineteen ninety. I'll put you in touch with Chris and yep. or leave me a message and I forward his message. Feel feel free to reach out to me. I'm happy to. As I tell everyone, I will consult with you over the phone, no charge. Um, but I have been reached out to by a bunch of libraries to come speak on this. They say this is a very important subject. So I'll be at about seven different libraries in the month of September. Irvine, Newport, Laguna, um, Buena Park, Seal Beach. Um, so you're more than welcome to attend these free workshops. Where I'll okay. spend about 30 minutes um, going through this information, about 15 minutes on questions. Okay, perfect. So what we're gonna, And we're going to get Chris to put those events. He's going to send them and we'll have our team put them in there. Uh, on the events page for Ron Siegel Radio and on our social media channels so you're able to get that information as well. Um, it's a lot of good information and there's no reason for you to miss out on it. So again, anybody, if you're involved, if you've got a child getting ready to go to school, now let me ask you this, Chris, what about uh, athletes? You get a full, full ride uh, athletic scholarship. Yep. Do you still need to fill out the FAFSA? Absolutely. Yeah, really? There's still money available. So the scholarship's probably coming from the school. Right. However, you can still get federal money on top of that. And the example I was sharing with you is a client had told me, and I saw it on Facebook, someone's going to college. I reached out, full ride scholarship. I said, well, fill out the FAFSA anyways. They do, and they qualify for a Pell Grant. Which was an additional seven grand, and then the school. So what do you likes do with it. that money? Well, the school likes it because it's coming from the federal government. So then that the school doesn't have to come up with as much. So, so what's the benefit to me as a parent going through that exercise? There may if be additional monies okay. um, that are not that you just didn't know. So again. The, the point here is there's a free application for federal student aid called the FAFSA. If you have anyone in school or yourselves in school, fill that thing out. 
fill that thing out. And lastly, people keep telling me their kid's going to be an independent, like they're not covering them. And I'll say to them, why are they an independent? And they'll say, because we cut them off. And I say, well, if it was that easy, everybody would do that. But you have to be 24 years of age. You have to be married and or have defendants or be military. So it's very hard to become independent. Yeah. <laughs> it's not you can't cut your kid off. Let's just put it that way. Doesn't work that way. Yeah, everybody would be an independent. Then. Interesting. Fascinating information. If you want more information, make sure you check out the face the social media channels, Facebook pages, ronsegalradio.com. We'll put all the events that Chris has coming up right on there. I'm going to get a list from him. We'll put them there and check back so you get that information, so your family has that information. And as always, we ask you, set that first radio preset button to come back here and join Ron Siegel Radio, where we only speak about items affecting your house and your bank account. Thanks to all of our sponsors. A big thanks to John, who's engineering us today. And of course, a special thanks to you for spending a little bit of your day with us. That's all for Ron Siegel Radio. Again, if you have any questions or to meet any of our guests, call me anytime. 800-306-1990 800-306-1990 or ronsegalradio.com and remember make a lot of money so you can help a lot of people and have a lot of fun have a great day we will talk to you next time on Ron Siegel Radio hey.